You're that mainlander who just got here. Better watch yourself, because this island sees and hears everything you do. I should know. I watched the island tear down the greatest family that ever set foot in Far Harbor. It's a tale of greed, blood, and vengeance. What family are you talking about? I was just about to explain. My family, the Daltons, was the pride of Far Harbor for generations, even back before the war. It was lumber and fishing that made the Daltons rich. But they got greedy, took too much from the island. The island's been getting revenge ever since, killing us off one by one. I'm the last Dalton still standing. Ah, but now our story takes an unexpected turn. A mysterious stranger comes to Far Harbor. Someone strong, someone capable. With the stranger's help, the last living Dalton finally has a chance to avenge her bloodline once and for all. Wait. Are you saying that I'm the mysterious stranger who's going to help you avenge your family? Ah, you're a quick one. Good. You'll need your wits about you, because your part in the story is filled with danger. Now, on to the first chapter in our tale of vengeance. That would be the sad story of freckle-faced Petey. Petey was my cousin. He was a good lad, never caused trouble, he thought all those freckles brought him luck, but, <laughs> well, not so much. He was out foraging at the National Park campground when the island sick some feral ghouls on him. Island's a sneaky bastard when it wants to be. Anyway, he made it back to town, but died from his injuries that night. Of course, those ferals are still out there, waiting to kill the next poor fool who comes along. Damn shame that. Where'd you say these ghouls were? National Park Campground. It's pretty much straight west of here. Those ghouls are as good as dead. Good, good. It's long past time those shamblers paid for what they did to Petey. We'll be taking that.
What are you looking at? It's time to settle accounts. You hear me, Island? My friend here is going to even things up. Old Longfellow knows what he's about. I wiped out the feral ghouls at the campground. The hero of our saga returns triumphant. Ha <laughs> I bet the island didn't see that coming. It's only right you get paid for your troubles. Here's 200 caps for you. I think I deserve more than that. I suppose I could part with a little more. Here's another hundred caps. I've been thinking about what's next, and then it came to me. We all love our grandparents, don't we? Kind, gentle, doting, love to spoil you. You'd never want something awful to happen to them. Nobody would. That's why it broke my heart when I lost Grandpa George. We've all lost someone. You deal with it, and you move on. That's life. Well, we all haven't lost someone like Grandpa George. I can promise you that. A kinder and braver man has never walked these streets. I still remember the day I heard the news about what happened to him. He had a farm a little ways north of here. Lived a peaceful life, working the land, and not causing anyone trouble. The island sent something after him. A huge monster, mean as spit, and with claws to snap steel beams. A fog crawler. Grandpa bravely stood his ground. A shotgun in his hands, holding off that terror while the farmhands fled back here. If you can take out that shell-backed devil, it'll send a message loud and clear that says the Daltons never forget when they've been wronged. Where can I find this farm? Follow the coastline to the north. That fog crawler's gonna pay. For Grandpa George. That's the spirit! Mrs. Dalton. You ask anyone in Far Harbor, they'll tell you Grandpa George was everybody's favorite. With ordinance like that, no wonder you wiped out those crabs. Food.
something out. Someone's coming. I'm scraping by. Mainlanders don't last long on the island. Poor old Grandpa George. Torn apart by a fog crawler. The island hasn't got a shred of decency. Grandpa George can rest in peace. The fog crawler is dead. Wonderful. That's another chapter successfully concluded. You truly are the heroic Avenger I hoped you were. With that fog crawler gone, we can send some folks up there to get the place ready for you. That's right. The farm is yours. Your own little piece of the island. It'll take work to get it up and running again, but you'll have help. And here's another 200 caps in gratitude for your service to the great Dalton lineage. Surely a heroic Avenger deserves more than 200 caps. I can agree to that. Here's another 100 caps. Now, I don't have to tell you that the bonds of blood and family are strong. As strong as any a person can know. But if you ask me, the strongest among them is the bond that exists between two married people. That's why the last part of this tale is the hardest one for me to tell. You were married. What happened? My late husband, Daniel, was the best fisherman this island ever saw. He and his crew had a favorite fishing spot out by Brooks Head Lighthouse. One day, a day I'll never forget, I see Danny's boat pulling up with his crewmen all shouting and carrying on. Turns out some trappers moved into the lighthouse. No doubt because the island told them to. They're all crazier than a bag of mole rats. Their leader was having a little target practice. Shot Danny right between the eyes. Killed him, just like that. You go and get that son of a bitch. You make him pay for doing the island's bidding. Wait, did you just call someone else crazy? <laughs> that is priceless. What? I don't get your meaning. Ugh, never mind that. Remember, trappers may be half crazy from the fog, 
But they still know how to use a gun.
What's that? Someone's coming. Not exactly subtle, now. Yeah, that's one way to get the coolant pumping. Take a while. Ah. Oh, someone should make use of it. Roma is that. Hey. I'm listening. Here's what I've got. Lighthouse to be 
fog like it. I can't believe I let myself get talked into this. How do I know that woman wasn't crazy? I'm starting to think her whole story was some fantasy she cooked up to get attention. Taking out one trapper to avenge her husband's death. Sounded easy enough. Now I wish I'd stayed far away from this godforsaken island. Shit, something's coming! I lost my home when the fog rolled in. What kind of person just shoots a man for sport? All those trappers can burn in hell. That trapper who killed your husband is dead. Then it's done. It's finally done. All those lives that were lost. All those debts finally repaid. And it was no son or daughter of Far Harbor who stood up to the island and avenged the Dalton bloodline. It was you, an outsider, a mainlander. The final chapter's been written. The story has come to an end. This is a day I never thought I'd live to see. Thank you. I found a holotape from the last guy you sent to the lighthouse. He thought your whole story was a lie. Is it? A lie? No, no. It was true. Or at least, there was truth in it. Was there a little harmless exaggeration as well? Perhaps. But some things are more important than truth. Look at you, for instance. You've seen the island's dangers and survived. You've learned something valuable. What's more, the island learned something too. It knows you're not some greenbacked mainlander who can't tell up from down in the fog. The island will respect you now. And that's more than I can say for most who step off the boat. I'm just glad it's over. If I'd have kept going, there wouldn't be anything left alive on this island. <laughs> I have no cause to doubt you. Now, every good story's gotta have a happy ending, right? The hero finds the treasure, saves the sweetheart, and rides off into the sunset. Well, I'm a little old to leap up on a horse. But I have got something close to a treasure. This is an heirloom that's been in my family for... Ah, oh, let me think. Oh, for at least a generation or two. There's no Daltons left to inherit the thing, so it might as well pass on to you. The island knows this weapon. Oh, yes. You carry this, and it'll take you seriously. And that's it. That's the end. I can sleep easy now, knowing there won't be any unfinished business when they put me in the ground. Off you go now. My story's over, but yours... I think yours is only just getting interesting. Thank you.